136 days until Christmas. That may not sound, uh, that may sound like a lot of time, but for delivery services and the post office, the rush starts early in December. Wes loves when we talk about how many I, days until Christmas. Oh, he sure does. Loves Officials it. are trying to beef up staff now in advance of the holidays to keep that mail moving along. And tonight, Consumer Investigator Steve Sprache is live for us digging deeper into how the agency is going about doing that. I would imagine it's pretty simple. They just need people to make the deliveries, right? That's right, Rod, but you got to get him to come first. Just hours ago here at the Cabro Post Office, they held a job fair, but only six people showed up, and they believe that today's torrential midday rains kept a lot of people away. There are two types of postal employees, career and non-career. Well, career, you can retire, you have benefits and so forth. And the non-career, you work towards that. So everyone is on a career path to mm -hmm. permanency. And the USPS needs help. The Postal Service's Inspector General's Office recently releasing a report saying the agency's turnover rate went from 38% in 2019 to nearly 59% in 2022. And with the holidays coming, post offices like Cabro, Chapel Hill, and Oxford are anxious to fill vacancies. Just need the people. You know, we want to get the packages that are coming for the holiday right-sided and get the people in positions to deliver it. The Postal Service has a 10-year plan aimed at modernizing delivery methods and creating a more stable workforce, which ultimately helps local postmasters and the customers they serve. Well, attrition is something that, you know, it's inevitable. So as the people are leaving and preparing, to leave, we will have staff to recover from them. By hiring more people now, the Postal Service wants to avoid the package and mail delivery delays which occurred in the past. Last year, all recovering still from uh, COVID, and things got backed up, didn't they? They did, and we're trying to be ahead of that. So, with myself and my supervisors here, we're just trying to get the staff on board. Now, if you missed today's hiring event, they'll have another one around mid-September as they try and beef up their staffing for the holidays and beyond. Working for you, I'm Consumer Investigator Steve Sprecher.